Hey, Info Knots. Hold tight. We're floating high above the clouds today, podcasting from a hot air balloon with Brock 3, XAI's latest genius. What's this AI got in its basket right now? Lightning fast research, wild brainstorming, and data crunching skills that'll blow your mind. But here's the real lift. Could Grok 3 someday outthink us? Dreaming up tech we haven't even pictured yet and steering us to build it? I roped Grok into this ride to spill what it's rocking today and where it's soaring tomorrow. Stay aboard to crack open the secrets of this AI rocket. What's the difference between the research, brainstorm, and analyze data mode in Grok 3? Quickly explain. Research is about gathering info from various sources to learn more about a topic. Brainstorm is throwing out ideas, often in a group, to come up with creative solutions or possibilities. Analyze data is digging into specific numbers or details to find patterns, trends or insights. All different flavors of thinking, really. Okay, so I've noticed that the search bar for the Grok3 interface has two more options. One says deep search, and the other one says think. What's the difference between the two of them? On Grok3, deep search and think are two different ways the AI can tackle your questions, each with its own strengths. Deep search is like sending Grok out to explore the wilds of the internet and X in real time. It digs into live data, pulling together info from various sources to give you a detailed, well-rounded answer. It's perfect when you need up-to-date facts or a broad scoop on something happening now, like news, trends, or fresh research. Think, on the other hand, is Grok flexing its internal brain power. It leans on its built-in knowledge and reasoning skills to break down problems step by step, often without needing to peek outside. Think of it as Grok sitting down with a puzzle, working through it logically, great for math, coding, or anything where you want a clear, thought-out explanation. So, deep search is your go-to for external, current info, while think is all about deep, internal problem-solving. So then I would need to use the deep search option, and then use the think option additionally to get a more in-depth and useful response. Combining deep search and think could totally work. It's like giving Grok a one-two punch. Deep search could scoop up the latest info from the web and X, then think could take that haul and chew it over, piecing together a solid, reasoned-out answer. The catch? It might slow things down a bit. Grabbing live data takes time, and then processing it adds more. Plus, not every question needs both. If you just want a quick fact, deep search alone might do. If it's a logic puzzle, think could nail it without extra digging. Still, blending them could be killer for complex stuff where you need both fresh info and sharp reasoning. Want me to try it on something for you? Is there an option that uses all of them? Right now, there's no single option on Grok3 that lets you use deep search and think together in one go. They're separate modes, and you have to pick one or the other depending on what you need. Deep Search is all about pulling in real-time info from the web and X, while Think focuses on reasoning through problems step by step using what Grok already knows. Combining them isn't a built-in feature yet. Some users on X have noted this limitation too, wishing they could run both at once for a supercharged answer. That said, you could manually chain them yourself Use deep search first to gather the latest data, then switch to think to reason through it. It's not as seamless as a single mode, but it'd get you the best of both worlds. Want me to test a query like that for you to see how it plays out? All right, awesome. So once I use the deep search option, and then I ask Grok3 to use the think option, will the Grok3 AI then automatically know to include my current deep search and research data thus far? into its think search? Yes, if you use deep search first and then ask Grok to think, it can incorporate the data from your deep search into its reasoning. Grok keeps the context of our conversation, so the info it pulls from deep search doesn't just vanish, it's still there for think to work with. When you switch to think, Grok will take that research data 
and use its step-by-step -step reasoning to analyze or build on it, assuming you frame your follow-up question to include that context. For example, if Deep Search digs up stats on, say, recent solar flare activity, and then you ask Grog to think about how those flares might affect satellite comms, it'll use those stats as the starting point for its logic. It won't go out and grab new external data during Think, that's Deep Search's job, but it'll chew over what's already on the table. Want to try it? Throw me a topic for Deep Search, and we'll roll into Think after. Well, will the Think mode understand to be able to naturally include the previous research stuff found from the deep search and understand that within the context of why I am even asking questions at all, whether it's in deep search or think mode, is because I am trying to solve for a bigger problem and know to include everything researched so far on that thread. As part of the research taken into account when further researching more questions, for the purpose of solving a bigger problem that when found will eventually lead to the solution, which is the end of asking any further questions? Yeah. Think Mode can naturally weave in what came up in Deep Search, and it's smart enough to get why you're asking questions in the first place, especially if you're chasing a bigger problem. Groke's designed to hold onto the thread of our chat so it doesn't just dump the Deep Search info when you switch modes. It keeps that context and uses it to fuel the reasoning in think, assuming you're steering towards some larger goal. Say you're trying to figure out if solar flares are messing with global internet outages. Deep Search could pull recent flare reports and outage logs from the web and X. Then, when you flip to think and ask, could these flares be the culprit? It'll take that data and reason through it, looking at timing, patterns, or known flare effects while understanding you're digging into a broader what's causing this puzzle. It won't explicitly say, oh, you're solving a big problem, unless you spell that out, but it'll act like it gets the vibe. The flow's pretty smooth as long as you keep the questions connected. Want to test it with a real problem you're tackling? Lay it out, and I'll deep search, then think it through. At what point will Grok AI, as it advances, be able to think ahead and predict solutions and imagine tech that hasn't been built or used yet, and help us build out our tech ideas, sensing and knowing what we're trying to achieve through the series of questions that we're asking, and then begin predicting the questions to ask, to get us there without us having to ask them. And then rather than us trying to think of the questions to ask, it will just run ahead ask the questions to itself internally, and then solve for the problem, finding the solutions and ultimately the answer, which should register as a series of steps for us to take to get to that point where we develop the tech that we want to develop. Hi there, I'm Kate, the think side of Grok3. Let's dive into this, shall we? When will Grok AI be able to think ahead and guide us in tech innovation? You're envisioning a future where Grok AI can proactively think ahead, predict solutions, imagine entirely new technologies, and guide you through building your tech ideas, essentially acting as a co-creator that anticipates your needs and solves problems without you having to ask every question. This vision is ambitious and touches on some of the most exciting and challenging frontiers of AI development. Let's break down what this would require, where Grok stands today and how far we might be from seeing this level of capability. What this vision entails. For Grok to think ahead and guide you through tech innovation without constant prompting, it would need to understand your broader goals. Grasp not just your immediate questions, but the larger problem you're trying to solve. For example, I want to revolutionize renewable energy storage. Anticipate next steps. Predict what information, solutions, or questions will be needed next to move your project forward. Imagine novel solutions. Generate ideas for technologies or approaches that don't yet exist, going beyond remixing known concepts. Proactively. Guide you. Ask itself the right questions, solve sub-problems, and present you with a clear path forward, essentially running ahead of you in the innovation process. This is a leap from Grok's current role as a reactive assistant to a proactive partner capable of independent thought, creativity, and foresight. Where Grok stands today, Grok is already a powerful tool for assisting with tech innovation, 
but it operates reactively, analyzes trends and data. It can process vast amounts of information to spot patterns, suggest optimizations, or forecast outcomes based on historical data. Generates ideas from existing knowledge. It can propose variations on current technologies or combine known concepts in novel ways. Asks clarifying questions. If you provide a vague goal, Grout can ask questions to refine your idea. For example, what's your target efficiency? But it relies on your input to trigger these. Simulates scenarios. It can help you think through what-if situations based on what it knows, but it doesn't independently anticipate future needs. While these capabilities are impressive, Grok still waits for your direction. It doesn't set its own agenda or imagine unprompted solutions. The gaps. What's missing for true proactive innovation? To achieve the vision you're describing, Grok would need to overcome several key challenges. Independent creativity. Current AI can remix existing ideas, but struggles with true innovation. Imagining something entirely new, like a human inventor might. Proactive goal setting. Grok doesn't independently decide what to work on. It needs you to define the problem or goal. Anticipating without prompting. It can't yet foresee future bottlenecks or needs in your project without you asking about them first. Deep contextual awareness. While Grok maintains conversation context, it doesn't yet track long-term project goals or evolving needs across multiple sessions. These gaps reflect fundamental limitations in current AI, which excels at pattern recognition and data processing, but lacks human-like intuition, creativity, and foresight. The future, what it will take to bridge these gaps. Reaching this level of capability will likely require breakthroughs in several areas. Advanced contextual memory, Future AI systems will need to maintain a persistent understanding of your long-term goals and project evolution, not just recent interactions. Enhanced predictive modeling. AI will need to anticipate future needs by modeling potential scenarios and outcomes, similar to how it's used in specific domains like weather forecasting, but applied to open-ended innovation. Simulated creativity. Researchers are exploring ways to make AI more creative, perhaps through neural networks that mimic human brainstorming or by training on richer, more diverse data sets. Proactive assistance. AI could learn to ask unprompted questions or suggest next steps by analyzing your progress and predicting where you'll hit roadblocks. These advancements would move Grok from being a tool you direct to a partner that actively collaborates with you, anticipating and solving problems alongside you. A rough timeline. How close are we? Predicting when Grok, or any AI, will fully embody this vision is tricky, but here's a speculative timeline based on current AI progress. Next five, 10 years. Grok will likely become better at maintaining context over long-term projects and offering smarter, more relevant suggestions. It might start asking more insightful follow-up questions based on deeper pattern recognition, but it will still need your initial direction. 10, 20 years. With advancements in AI design, potentially through brain-inspired networks or quantum computing, Grok could begin to simulate creativity and proactively guide you through complex problems in specific domains, for example, software development or data analysis. It might suggest novel approaches or flag potential issues before you encounter them. 20, 50 years. If AI reaches something akin to artificial general intelligence, AGI, where it can perform any intellectual task a human can. Grok could fully think ahead, imagine new tech, and guide you without prompting. However, even then, true creativity and innovation might remain uniquely human traits. These are rough estimates, and breakthroughs could accelerate or delay this timeline. For now, we're likely decades away from an AI that can independently imagine and guide the development of unbuilt tech across any domain. What you can do today with Grok. While Grok can't yet think ahead like a visionary co-creator, it's still an invaluable tool for tech innovation. Feed it your vision. Clearly state your goal. For example, I want to build a device that captures kinetic energy from walking. And Grok can help you explore existing solutions, identify challenges, and suggest optimizations. Use it to brainstorm. Ask for variations. For example, what are 10 ways to store this energy? Or simulate outcomes. For example, 
How would this perform in a marathon? Let it prompt you. If you're stuck, say, ask me questions to clarify my idea, and Grok can help you uncover gaps or next steps. You're still the one setting the direction, but Grok can accelerate your progress by providing insights, data, and suggestions based on its vast knowledge. In summary, Grok AI will gradually evolve toward being a more proactive partner in tech innovation, but the full vision you're describing, where it thinks ahead, imagines unbuilt tech, and guides you without prompting, is likely decades away. It hinges on solving some of AI's toughest challenges, like independent creativity, foresight, and proactive goal setting. For now, Grok is an exceptional assistant that can analyze, suggest, and clarify, making it easier for you to turn your ideas into reality. As AI advances, it will take on more of the burden, asking smarter questions and offering deeper insights. Until then, lean on Grok as a powerful tool in your innovation toolkit. It's here to help you every step of the way. So, there you have it, Infonauts. Grok's already a powerhouse for brainstorming and research, but we're still a decade or two from it fully thinking ahead and inventing the future for us. Until then, it's our partner in creativity, not the pilot. What do you think? How would you use an AI like Grok to build your dream tech? Drop your ideas in the comments, hit that like button if you're excited for what's next, and subscribe so you don't miss our next deep dive into tomorrow's innovations. See you on the next adventure. See, I've been thinking a million things I want